In this video, I'll show you some of the new features in Crossword Compiler 11 from 11.0. See the separate video about all the other great features that were introduced in version 11. So starting with um, editing clues, in the review edit clues window, there is now a new settings button on the right here where you can control what is shown. In particular, you can now choose to show the citations or explanations of each clue, which may describe how cryptic clues work or give a citation for a word that is used. So if I click when set, then it shows all the citations that have already been set. If I want to be able to add them in this window, I can click always. And then if I want to add a citation for photogenic, I can just click down here and enter my citation. You can also choose to customize the font and the spacing. So for example, if you'd like to make the clues more easily readable on your screen, you might want to make the clues slightly larger. And this will then be set independently from the settings that are used when exporting. If you set these settings to the clue properties setting, then the, it will just match what you do when you export. On to filling. With the professional grid filler, there are a number of new features for setting theme words and finding grids. There is a new filter button when you're viewing the grid patterns so that you can restrict the list of grids to contain words of a particular length. So let's say I wanted to have two 11 letter words and at least one 13 letter word. I could just select these two here and the list here will be filtered appropriately. If I want three 13 letter words, then you see that there are no matches. Most I can get is two, but I could also have three or four 11 letter words. Of course, you can fit theme words automatically use the fit theme words button. So as before, you can enter your theme words here and it will select grids that will fit your theme words. There is now a new option here, use, lo use longest word slots, which can be used to make sure that there are no long word slots that are not used by your theme words to make sure all the long slots are theme slots in the grid. The pro grid fillers fill grid window also has a new exclude option. So when you're building from a word list, it will automatically exclude words with a score below your minimum word score. You might sometimes also want to exclude other words. For example, if you imported a word list which is not scored properly, or perhaps you want to exclude words that you've used recently. So on the exclude tab, you can choose to exclude words from the blacklist. So normally this is not needed with the default word list because you don't include any of those words with high score in your list anyway. But with other lists, you can use this to exclude vulgar words and other words that are not usually acceptable in puzzles. Or you can exclude words from a database. This is particularly useful to exclude words that you've used recently. So for example, if with each puzzle, after I've made it, I add the puzzles to a clue database with the date stamp, I can at this point ignore all the same words that I've used recently in other puzzles. That way, avoiding words that I've used recently when I make the new puzzle. So if I now fill, it will avoid all words in the American Clue database that I've used since the 10th of January. Alternatively, you can just skip the last 60 days or any other days you want to set as words in the database. Database viewing and editing features have also been significantly improved. In the Clue Editor and other places where you can see Clue Database clues, you can select which columns you want to show. So for example, if I want to also show the citation as well as the date, I can click citation and it will show the citation. The clue editor window can be resized so that you can easily see more of this information if you want to. Clues can also be easily edited if you see a mistake in the database or you want to change something by clicking on the clue and making any changes that you want to. In this puzzle, the clues have some formatting. So for example, Waterloo Bridge is in italic in this clue for Cloud Monet. Previously, the database did not support formatting, but now in version 11.1, .1, this formatting is allowed. So if I use a clue with italic, it will be added into the clue with italic. If I edit the clue, the database clue editor window also allows you to change bold, italic, underline, superscript, and subscript within each clue. 
managing the crossword.info online account if you upload puzzles there has also been made easier. The website admin button in Crossword Compiler now has an option to change the password. If you go to the website administration link, uh, if you've forgotten your password, you can there get it reset and then you can change your password using this button so that the website and the program are in sync and you can upload puzzles easily whenever you've changed your password. That's it for this quick tour. If you want to see details of changes, you can always look at the history uh, page on the website, which is linked with all the online updates, which give you details of all the other changes that have happened as they've been done. So you can see many of the other features that I haven't had time to go into here that have been added recently. Enjoy the program.